Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK. Thank you for visiting my channel. Please like, subscribe and um, share. Um, today is a very quick video before I go off to work. Um, I was just watching a YouTube video by Dr. Mumbi, M-U-M-B-I. She's, um, she's done her PhD at the most prestigious um, university in Kenya, I think it was. Anyway, it was in Africa. But anyway, um, she was talking about how 24 Africans had been denied into the UK. They were supposed to be attending an Ebola conference and they were rejected. Now, you know, of course, my thinking cap goes on. I mean, she was more or less um, saying it's because um, the UK do not want anybody to know what's going on with Ebola. I really don't know much about it, so I'm not going to comment on it. But I think it is. this is where the algorithm bias has taken hold because it's artificial intelligence. It does not um, discern between what is real and what is not. It goes on a base. It goes on a base of facts, and whatever facts have been put into that system, whether it's if they're from these um, countries that they're wary about, absolutely the majority of African countries UK is wary about has been embedded into that system with the algorithm bias, and so therefore. If, if that is the criteria, not the individual, not the qualifications, but the fact that you're from a particular country or of a particular age, that is where there's going to be problems. 25 famous qualified um, philanthropists, doctors, researchers were rejected. The applications were rejected. These are rich Africans. And it was based on the fact that, number one, they do not believe that they're a researcher based on probabilities. And they might want to stay in the country. And that is the problem with systems and not human intervention, because it cannot discern the fact from um, fact from false. It just gives blanket statements. And now, because of this um, balls up, what's going to happen is UK is now going to be seen as one of the countries that nobody wants to come to. And you might say, that's fine. That's how we want it. We don't want you immigrants in our country. We do not want your, these Africans in our country. So what? We can get on fine by ourselves. But you'll find very quickly that without people like these researchers and philanthropists and qualified foreigners you're going to go down the pan. Whether you like it or not, there, there's been a perception that you have been doing everything by yourselves. But history will tell you, you've been built up by with the blood and the hands of foreigners. You haven't done it by yourselves. And if you now feel as though you're on your own now, and you can do everything by yourself, and you're going to start creating um, mechanisms that restrict foreigners, especially qualified foreigners, based on your criteria. These foreigners who are rich and wealthy and who have been who have gone through a very intrusive process to prove that they are more than worthy to attend these conferences. They're not even coming to live in the country. They're coming to give their viewpoints on conferences. And they have been denied because of the algorithm bias. And the unconscious bias that I was talking about in a previous video, although it does seem to us that it's a conscious bias, it doesn't seem unconscious to black people, but it is unconscious because it's embedded in their psyche and half of them don't even know, don't, wouldn't even recognise it if it stood them in the face. So like I said, this is a very quick video. Um, I think it's very unfortunate that um, this has taken place. I'm going to put the links below and I've got to go to work. Or otherwise, I might not have a job. So take care, lovely people. Bye bye.